Scotland, up at Glasgow Sierra of corrupt corporate place of business. Um, I was asked since you all know to witness a case, I brought a couple of people with me who witnessed a case. A man has just been arrested inside a public building within a court room uh, for failure to appear. He's standing there, there's four witnesses that seen it. The police are in there, the corrupt scumbags that arrested me in the past have arrested this man for failure to appear. Now the problem we've got here is it's your people fault that this is happening because you sit back and let it fucking happen, right? This here is near court, it's a corporate place of business and administrative hearing, right? And you people need to realise that when you walk in there, you don't get in there as a man or a woman. You get in there as a dead entity, the corporation, a company, a company employee, right? There's a total fraud in there. They've no jurisdiction. They try to bully people. I just had a set two with three numpties in uniform, fancy dress, calling ourselves police officers, right? Uh, two of them are two of the scumbags that arrested me in the past. It's diabolical what's going on here. The only way we can sort this people is a sovereign government. Remove the corruption to the Scottish Parliament and put a sovereign government with the people of Scotland. That's the only way to sort this. We take the control mechanism, remove it, we get control of the Parliament and we get control of the courts. And this doesn't happen because it's wrong what's happening. These are thinking they're above the law. I told two of them in there when they were uh, arguing with me, told me it was none of my business and who was I and I told him it was none of his business. I mean, they walked away from me, I told him he was dismissed and they, they laughed at me. He thought that was funny, but you could see he was fucking raging, right? I'm sorry, people, I'm really angry here just now because of what's happened. This man's lying in there for nothing. They've not even got a warrant prepared. It takes up to seven days for a warrant to be prepared. They've just railroaded this guy. I've challenged the, the court manager. She's as strict as the rest of them in there. She's as corrupt as the rest of them in there because she's just going over her head and she's saying that, oh, the, the, the police and the courts know what they're doing. They're no courts. And they're in there. Every one of them are working that building or issuing uttering false documents, committing fraud upon the court. And this is a message to the Chief Constable of Scotland. Your constables in there need to be sacked, every one of them. They're corrupt to the court. They talk to people like they're shit. They disobey the law. There's got to be a victim of a crime to be arrested. There is no victim in there. And that's certainly not a court. And there's certainly no constables under the roof. Because when I get arrested away back, I ask them for the warrant cards they feel to identify themselves. I think the woman's name for the Chief Constable, first name is Joe. You need to get looking into this Glasgow Sheriff Court. I'm going to write to Lord Calloway in the High Court, Eric McQueen, because these are getting away with too much. Time me end the corruption, time me end the tyranny. A poor man's lying in there for nothing. Says he failed to appear when he was standing in front of a fucking judge with a legal advisor. I'm sorry people, but I'm really angry what's happening in this building. Don't even take a lawyer, because they drag you in there under the legal realm. They're corrupt to the core. And I'm standing right outside their building, calling it out as it is and what it is. There's no bullshit here. I've got three people here. Um, I'm going to ask you a question. They don't want to come in camera. That's their, that's their choice. You were in the court with, with myself, when this man appeared in front of the court. Please tell the people, was that man there or was he not there? He was there. What was there? The person or the man? The man. They say that, that was there. If his name was not Frank, whatever. He wasn't there, he failed to appear. That shows you the... Comp it makes me sick what's going on here, people. The Scottish government, the whole law, the whole legal system needs to be brought down because it's wrong. There's criminals in there, and I can verify that, and I'll call any judge, procurator, or fiscal, come out here and face a man on camera, and I'll shoot him down in flames, or her. They're just paid fucking liars, seriously. These people need to get a grip, put a stop to the tyranny within, it's wrong. People are standing there looking at me like I'm a fucking idiot and I'm no. This is the truth. Corruption in there, this is not a court. It's a fraud. And I verify that under a charge of perjury if they want to call me inside. The coppers in there are not even coppers. They're criminals at the highest level. Paid liars. Anyway, people. When I spoke to the, the court manager, she said that the case might be recalled. I don't know what's going to happen there. I feel really sick. What I've just seen, because it's happened to me numerous occasions, my door's been kicked in umpteen times, yeah. and it's fucking wrong, I and agree. I'm angry. I, right? agree, I agree with you 100%. Mate. It's 100%, 100 true, mate, near lies, mate. God's honest truth. Um, there's a guy just come on and shoot my hand, right? The guy knows it's the truth. These people know, but the problem we've got, we've got a fear factor, a fear factor that people are scared of these people. These people are on an illusion of authority over the person, no the man or woman. Nobody in the legal system, legal society, can deal with a man or a woman, a son or a daughter. That's why when they talk about your son or daughter, they call it child. A child's irresponsible and premature. 
That's where they get the jurisdiction. That's where social services can take your rain off you. Even the summary warrants in there are fake. When they do a summary warrant procedure, you don't get called to it because it's a fraud. What do they do? They give all the documents back to the council, and I've got it verified in private capacity with documents verifying that they're, they return every document. So there is no record in that court. Every one of these staff members in there, and I feel sorry for them because they've not got a clue what's going on in their real life. They're in an illusion of bubble and they come out in fraud. Anyway, people, you can see I'm really rattled because the guy's been arrested for nothing. This is the fourth time this man's been arrested for failure to appear when he's appeared four times. What does that tell you, people? When is enough enough? When are you people going to stand up and be counted? I stand up for the last 12 and a half years. I've had my door kicked in. My sister's lost her son and daughter with fake liars called social workers, Dorothy McKillop and Rose McAllister, made up fabricated lies with no evidence of any crime, anything, abuse or anything. And they still took her son and daughter. And the reason they took her son and daughter is because they told her to get me out of life or they were going to take them. And they did because I wouldn't back in. We need to pull that system down once and for all people. We don't need political parties. What we need is a sovereign government, a people's government. Once we take back control, we run the show. And then all these criminals that commit crimes against the people, we can nip it in the bud. Anyway, I've ranted on enough because I'm starting to get stressed out here because of what's happened to that poor man in there for nothing. You people pay attention to this video. Share this video. Make it viral. And put a word out there what's happening in these buildings. This is paid for by the public purse, people. This is our building. But what's inside that building is nothing to do with the people. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. You people take care. Be safe. And I'll speak soon. Thank you for watching this video. Please share it far and wide.